we decided to hit the road and travel Australia as a family. The kids have been absolutely loving it. After being on the road for a couple of months, we are still at our first stop of the trip at King Ash Bay Fishing Club near Borroloola in a remote area of the Northern Territory. It's been amazing, but we are very relieved when some extra hands arrive. The grandparents arrived yesterday and they're camped just down here in that caravan and the daycare centre has arrived. We pay uh, daycare fees in mud crabs and fresh fish, which is a pretty good deal. Where are you going to go? Nana and Papa. Okay, you have a great day. Mummy and Daddy are going fishing, okay? I'm going. Why are you going fishing? Oh, because Mummy hasn't been on the water in about five years. All right, see you, buddy. Have a good day. Well, the boat's all packed. I've been ready for about an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, nah, we'll uh, hopefully head off soon before midday. So we're just driving down the boat ramp here and Laurie was over here mowing and there was all this rubbish that the camper had left over here. He's putting it into a pile. <laughs> There's actually some crab pots here that look like they're in okay condition. Dad's bought chicken wings uh, to use as bait for the crab pots. We don't have crab pots. And we don't have crab pots. <laughs> but I said to Jazz, we don't need crab pots. Like, my friends are crabbers. <laughs> but anyway, we've got our own crab pots now. All right, let's chuck that in the tray. And I'll chuck these in the boat. Yeah, yeah mate, thank Thanks, you. Larry. Okay. The craziest thing, Jazz actually bought chicken wings to use as bait at the servo. And I said, hey, Jazz, we do not have crab pots. <laughs> He's got security cameras, so he knows I've taken it. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Oh, good remembering. <laughs> Day nearly ruined. <laughs> Keys. You good to go? Good to go. <laughs> so first things first, the aim of today is to catch a barra to bring home for dinner. So I need to throw the cast net to get some mullet for bait. landed on a heap of mullet I think. Oh look at them all scatter. Oh yeah there's a few in there. We got a few. All right here we go my last three. All right hopefully a good one. Hopefully a good one. Yep it's a really good one. Yes. Yes, you always say your last throw is your best throw of the day. Look at this, now we're fishing, aren't we? Beautiful. Okay, let's go for it. Whew. Have a go. Yeah, good. I reckon I've got maybe almost 20. Beauty. And one last thing before we can start fishing. We need to set these crab pots along the creek. It's worth sticking around until later in the video when we check these pots in a couple of hours time. Alrighty. Alright, I reckon right about there. All right, how about right there. Perfect. Alrighty. This one about there. Perfect. Your motor's out of the water, put it down. Good job. Good job. Good job. Really good job. Well, once again, you find me up a sneaky creek. The back of the boat is actually in 0 0.2, 0 0.3 meters. So the motor's probably even touching the bottom at the moment. 
um, but back here I think it's like two and a half meters so it's a bit of a channel like a, a narrow channel coming through so we're gonna think it's a bit of a highway for barramundi any barramundi that's decided to travel through is uh, gonna take one of our liveys who's gonna get the first barra me, maybe. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> oh, you're oh on. big on, big on. That is big on. Take that camera, it's already recording. That's got to be a cod, man. What do I do with this rod? Chuck it in here. Yep. Oh, Ooh. nice cod. All right, give, us, give, give the punters a look. It's nice, clear water. Unreal, black spot. Alright, now let's net him. Good job, Jazzy. Nice big cod. How's that? Took a really big livey, big black spot cod. You've seen me catch these guys before. Big heavy fish. When they hit, they hit hard. They uh, put up a good fight. And then when they get close to the boat, it's pretty lucky they actually give up a bit. So it's easy to land him. Yeah, we're going to throw this guy back. And um, he's going to grow a lot bigger than that. See you later, mate. <laughs> How cool is that? Got the nibs. On my fit, my bait is swimming amazingly oh, is stronger. That... Oh, you're on? Yep. Yep, start whining. Hang on. Oh, is that bar? Not in there, not in there. There he is. Top. Just keep, yeah, that's good. That's, you're doing perfect. You are doing perfect. Where's your net, Bella? Right in my hand. Oh, you are so lucky it swam that way. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. So right, I'm just going to tie your drag a tiny yeah. bit, Bubby. Yeah. Bubby, I just called you Bubby. I've yeah. never, ever done that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, desperate times. Okay, come on, buddy. Yes! Yes! Oh yes! Welcome back to the Mac, Jazzy. First time fishing in five years. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's that easy. The mullet livey about that big. Unbelievable. There we go. This fishing stuff's easy. What are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll stay home and look after no. the kids. <laughs> there it is. That's a bit better shot of him. 63 centimetre barramundi, Jazzy. Beautiful. Want to take him home for dinner? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, and bring the tail to me. Just the tail. Yes. Nice one, Jazzy. How does it feel? Good. I'm slightly scared this fish is going to move. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at her. She's not even touched it. She's got her shirt there. <laughs> Don't sell me out. <laughs> no, I'm very excited. And yeah, we've got dinner, which I'm, that's the most of all. Yeah, unreal. Well done, Jazzy. All right, I'll, do, I'll deal with it for you and get you. it straight in the esky. <laughs> you take it. Ah! <laughs> what are you going after? for? She moved. Oh. <laughs> you're worse than Johnny H. Nah. Don't look like you're scared of it. <laughs> but I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Ah, stop doing that. Good job. If you've got another barra, I'm going to be. I told you, next to that tree. It's giving you hell. Got my rod out of the way. Queenie. Oh, they put on a show, don't they? Oh. <laughs> Queenie on the charcoal. Come on, Queenie. Don't drag him too hard. Okay. Whoa, yes! <laughs> oh! First slip. You beauty. You. There we go. He's, he's unhooked. You beauty. That's a good size Queenie, yeah? Yep, that's not bad. They they grow three times as long as that. But um That'll be good eating. But yeah, no, nah, we'll cook it exactly the same way we did the other one. Or was it last night or the night before? Night before. before. Yeah. Cool. Alright, I'll uh I'll put him out of his misery and we'll get him in the esky. Alright, there's that Queenie. Queenie to keep the barra company. Tell me it's recording up. Yep, I'm on. What have we got? A golden snapper! <laughs> Good little goldie. Not bad for the creek. 
How's that? Yo, beauty! I reckon nice little goldie. Hand size? Yeah, people have no dramas keeping that. See you, buddy. Unreal. It's time to check the crab pots. And just remember, these pots we found this morning dumped in the campground. Oh, we got one good one. We got one good one. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? It's a big buck too. So what, we've been fishing up there, oh, realistically two hours we've we been up there? Yeah. Put our free crab pots in that we salvaged this morning. And uh, have converted chicken wings into a big buck, big male mud crab. Now what? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reach my hand in and pull him out. Okay. Yes. Oh, almost got my right hand. Okay, look at that. That's the biggest mud crab I've caught on the trip so far. I'll grab the camera, get some light on him. How's that? Yes. Just give him the little push. Oh, we're three from three. We are three from, that is so firm. So you push, push down on his little six pack here. Get your thumb, push it as hard as you like. If there's any movement whatsoever, then he's, he's probably not gonna have a whole heap of meat in him. But that one's firm as. So that is a really good feed, ready for grandpa. <laughs> so I've put that pot straight back in the same spot. There's still plenty of bait in it. So if I'm out fishing tomorrow or the next day, we'll come and, and check it again. Uh, but we've still got two more pots to go. Let's, let's see what happens. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no we've got way. two, three, three. <laughs> Look at the size of that one! That's huge, that's got two claws. We've got a one here, just with the one claw. But these are all big males, no females. That's huge, that's even bigger than the first one we got. Oh, this crabbing thing's easy. Wait till I tell Ash and Mullet. <laughs> oh, man. That one's bigger, isn't it? I think so, but we need some sun on it. Check this camera. Oh. Oh. He's not, he's not very lively. I'll give him a little test. Oh, my chest cam's running out of battery, so at the worst possible moment. Oh, soft. That's a shame, that is. Jeez, that's a shame. Okay. See that? Dip, 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 dip. That one's soft as well. I can push it in so easy. All right, this is gonna seem crazy to some people. But we've done the test. That crab does not have very much meat in it. It's huge, but this is what's gonna happen. All right, we've still got two crabs to deal with in here. Uh, let's go for this one first. All right, that's a little one there. He's firm though, he's a keeper. There's nothing unusual with uh, seeing a mud crab with just the one claw, because they do grow back. They grow back underneath there, and they'll just end up popping out when they uh, molt their shell. Oh, he's firm as. So we got two keepers from that pot and then the one that we threw away. Alrighty, on to pot number three, which is just down the next creek down here. Jazzy hasn't driven a boat in years, but she actually grew up in little tinnies back in the day, little tinny rat on the Coomera River. <laughs> so she knows her way around a boat. Okay, we must be coming up on this next pot. Yeah. Okay, I've got the rope. 
We've got the pot. We've got oh, it's on top. Oh no, we lost a big. Oh, we've got two though. There was a big one on top, and then we got a huge one there and a slightly smaller one there. Foot, foot. We're getting close. We've just got one claw left. He's got hold of the food. <laughs> Put him upside down. We'll test it. Oh, he's firm. That is a big male, good quality crab. Oh, he let go. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Another big male. Beautiful. Okay, come on, baby. Yeah. This is just unbelievable for, uh, for having the pots in the water for just a couple of hours. <laughs> and three old rusty pots that we found too. This is just unbelievable. Jeez, almost almost 15 centimeters across and that's the smallest one. Wow. Oh, we haven't checked it. Firm, firm, so firm. One, two, three, four, five. Well, there's still plenty of bait in there. We'll go to the old reset and uh, chuck it back in. I reckon about there. Oh, it's upside down. I'm going to re-throw it. All right. There we go. Right way up this time. What do you reckon? Head home? Time for home. Re relieve the grandparents? Relieve the grandparents. Good job. Welcome. Did you have a good day? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Do you want to see what, what mummy and daddy caught for dinner? Mud crabs. Mud crabs? How did you know? How did you? No. Yeah, we, um, you can explain, Mikey. Look, it's Holy a long, look at the size <laughs> it's not a bad one. Look at the size of that. <laughs> so there's, there's five in there. Wow. We only kept the full ones as well. We threw one really big one back as well. Good boy. So yeah, look at that. Look at the camera and go, yeah. Yeah. You did catch it. Oh, mummy and daddy. Beautiful. Just make sure the ones that are getting direct flame, I move around a lot. Yeah, far out, they're changing colour already. All right, we must be getting close now. Come have a look. Well, I'd say that the daycare fees are well and truly paid for. I'm gonna go down. I'm going to go down and deliver these to the in-laws. I'll catch you in the next video. In the coming weeks, I have more videos on their way. Next week, you'll see Bullfrog and I getting stuck into some big blue salmon. The following week, Ash lends me the keys to his big charter boat for a family fishing trip. In future episodes, you'll see some PBs broken, the mad mullet catching some barra at night, some mangrove jack, crocodiles, helicopters, mud crabs, and of course, more barramundi. So if this looks like the sort of thing you want to watch over the next couple of months, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you're hanging around for a while and want to help out my channel in a big way, YouTube is about to suggest you a video to watch on the end screen. Be an absolute legend and watch whatever video they suggest. It's all about the algorithm. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.